to approach. The approach gotta be more gorilla on it. that a lot, of, a lot of people not in Jamaica get is that the general population of Jamaica is just um, easy going long suffering people but you have a few so called dons with, with the backing of um, whether powerful people whether politicians or business people who use intimidation and murder to, to get away and, and, and then the dons go off and see their own interests with, with their own power because they accumulate this power, you know, um, how, how, how do you see that and, and what do you think is, is, is a solution to stuff like that? Well, you know, the dons come around, they get their power from, it was, as you know, you know, as a Jamaican, you originally know that it was Some stuck. benevolent dons, but it, when you get down to it, um, Dons are dance. Uh, dance. Yeah. Dance. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, as a Jamaican, you know that the history of Danship came in regard as a community leader. He was the one who would liaison with the politician. And, you know, when a next community attack a next community, the the um the area, the community leader would liaison with the, the MP for the area and he would supply them with guns and all those things. For uh, yeah, yeah, yes, for self protection for and, and that's all they did. The, yeah. So that's where the, the, this whole thing start actually, you know, and the Dan business now grew till um it became what what took it out of the politicians' hands, though, because it was in the politicians' hands for a number of years, right up to the, in the early 80s. But then, if from the 80s, they became um, independent. independent because of um, drugs and all kind of thing and all kind self -employed of self-employed dance. Yeah, self-employed dance. They were able to send their own money to buy their own guns, and they they had little regard for the politician. So it has evolved from a political process you now to a, a gangland pro, gangster process. Now, the dance, you have benevolent dance, as you say, good dance who, who come and help the people, who really defend the people of the community, who don't make no robbery, no rape, no stealing at all going out of the community. They are the ones who they help send the kids to school, they keep um, school treats, they buy books for the children. They buy pencils, they, you know, they, they generally keep things um, going active in the community. Fill the gap that yes, the politicians they can. fill the gap that the politicians can. But you still have some dance who are terrorists. Yeah. You have some dance who, who, who delight in killing people, yeah. uh, you know, and they, they, they recruit youths them from early, from, you know, a little youth who should be going in school. You have some dance who have them right beside them. Instead of them sending them to school to finish their education, they have the little youths, they train them, to give them guns killers. from early to be their hit men. Yeah. You know, if they don't like you, they say, yo, they tell a youth, yo, the brother there, I don't like the brother there, you know, go and kill him. And the little youth, he's so young and vulnerable, you know, he wants to impress the Dan, he wants to have money and be like the Dan. Sure. So he goes and do it. You Even know? though he still love reggae music and we sing the songs about upliftment. Yes. Uh, he, put it, he put it in a different package yeah. from what he's actually doing. Yeah, yeah. For survival. Well, you see, you find that, I tell you the truth, you know, most of the government, they don't listen to reggae music. They listen to dancers. They listen to dancers. Gangster, yes. Gangster they listen to gangster music sure. and hip hop. Dying sure. everything you do. And I come to tell the people about love, Rastafari, life, liberation, and strength. You know enjoy what I mean? The enjoyment of the rhythm and, you know, educate the people. Educate Rastafari. Yeah, yeah, so we're not in them sitting there, you know? No, no, no. So, as we say, we, um, you know, we, we're hoping and praying for the day that the Jamaica. As a society, realizing him, how the music is important and how the role it plays that they would make a change. You know, because in Trinidad, you know, we was in Trinidad recently and Trinidad, 
they have um, their um, their murder rate is increasing too because there are a lot of youths listening to Gansa music over there and they are rising like uh, like uh, 500, 600, 700 people. That was unheard of in Trinidad. Yeah. You know what I mean? So recently when we went to Trinidad, we heard a suggestion by some radio stations that they will no longer be playing gangster music on their radio. So we are hoping that the Jamaican people take a leaf from the Trinidadian people. I'm very sorry to say that Jamaica is where most of the gangster music originate. And they have taken that initiative. But we are hoping that the Jamaican government would also take that initiative and ban certain kind of music from the radio. I'm not saying that there's not a place for that music because people need to express themselves. But they can express themselves in the dance hall. We don't need that kind of music on the radio. Well, the thing is, in the Midwest here, those uh, um, uh, unless among the very young, which is usually the target audience, um, that kind of music is not very popular. The, the reggae peaceful in the Midwest has always been with the roots rock reggae mm. style. Mm. They, um, when those kind of guys come here, they usually don't get a, 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 a return in the future. You know? or yeah. If they do come back, the crowd's very small when the people realize what they're listening to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? I'm very glad for that, you know. Yeah. But I, I went to a dance last night at uh, a Jamaican restaurant. Yeah, GGs. GGs and um, some of the music that they were playing when I just went there was terrible. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, I, you know, I love Brother G, he's a very great man. But some, some the, one of the selectors there. Oh, yeah. yeah um, and, and, and his I, levels are conscious. No, but the thing that is surprising about that selector is not a Jamaican, he's from Africa. Yeah. And, and some of the youth, them, some of the music he was playing, it was a, a pure killing. And that kind of distressed me a little bit because I said to myself, you know, I'm not used to hearing that kind of music in the Midwest. And, you know, and I see that, you know, as a matter of fact, when that music start, was playing, everybody was up on their feet. When they start playing, the, the, the roots, roots make the music, then they start to sit down. Yeah. So, the, the, you see, it, it, it is slowly. Yeah. Growing in here because you see anywhere you find a lot of concentration of young Jamaicans, eh, you're gonna find that kind of music, and it's it's getting popular here, and I'm I'm very concerned about it. I'm very concerned, and I'm I'm, I'm hoping that people like you and the, the reggae faithful in Kansas City, and the radio personalities in Kansas City, keep it real. Don't matter what they're doing on the streets, you who are on the radio and the TV, please keep it real. Please be positive yeah, influences for the young kids. Yeah. Because if these kids rise up in that fashion, it's going to be a bloody situation. Yeah. Because anyway... Yeah, it already is. Yes. Yeah. Because that music influences blood. True. That's the fact. it's been a very productive interview. You know? Yeah, and yeah. All fans out there on MySpace and Guerrilla Journalism fans and Mikey General fans where, you know, they're uh, yeah, man. riches. So, Mikey, any last word for... Blessed love. Yeah, man, you know, my song, my new album, Confidence in Self, you can get it on I, um, at iTunes Digital Download. You know, if you, if you can, you find the disc anywhere. You can still get it on download, um, iTunes, and um, MySpace slash Mikey General. You know, you can visit my website and, and, and see what's, what's there from, you know. But Mikey General is on the road. He's touring with Brother Luciano. When we finish this tour in the US, we'll be heading off to Australia, and then from Australia to Europe. And then it's early in September, it's Ethiopia, the land of our fathers, which I've been four times last year and which is my home i love ethiopia my home away from home my original home ethiopia spreading the positive message ja. international rastafara if a man should build a castle and don't build it in janine surely all